Yo guys, I'm Faster Rides. Welcome along today. If you're new to the channel, then welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, it's nice to have you along for the ride. So today we're going to be doing a review on BHP uh, UK um, motorcycle flash service. You may remember that uh, Sam Vincent actually took his bike there and had it on the rolling road and he had it remapped and it smoothed it out and added a load of power. Well, we're going to do the same thing today, but so we're going to use the online service. They send you out a flasher and you read it, you send the file back to them and they send you back a modified file and you install it on the bike. So I am going to take you through all the procedure to do this. So we're going to start with the unboxing, then we're going to take the flasher down to the motorbike, read the file, then we're going to send it off, receive it, I'll show you how to put it all back on and then we'll put it on the bike and then we'll take it for a ride, we'll see what, see what the difference is. So as you can see, this is the box right here that it comes in, it has all the BHP logo in the tape and everything on the side. And we'll open the box and see what we get inside. So we have some bubble wrap, we have some uh, stickers by the looks of that. Yep, they're stickers. And this must be the ECU reader. Oh, there's also a key ring. There's nothing else in the box. So this is the ECU reader here. This is what you'll uh, get in the box. Hopefully you can see that. It's a bit dark, isn't it? In fact, what I'll do is I'll show it up like that. So you can see there, it's BHP UK Power Through Technology. So this is the reader. We'll open the box and we'll have a look, see what's in that. So that's the reader itself. So this is the card where you download the software for it shows you how to do it everything dead easy now this should be the leads smacking the camera about get rid of the box so this is the cable that you need to read the motorbike and then you get a USB to US uh, yeah USB A to a USB socket there which is a printer cable basically right so what we'll do We'll go put this into the computer, we'll update the software, and then we'll uh, go read the, read the bike. Right guys, so this is the website that I went to to uh, order the software. So what I did is I went straight into the shop and I went down to my maker motorbike, which is KTM. And then I changed this to KTM Super Adventure Super, so I changed this to Super Adventure S 2021 onwards Euro 5. And then you'll notice that that's Sam's, Sam's motorbike on the picture there. And I just added to cart and it tells you the price there, £499. This shows you how to download the map from your bike onto the ECU flasher and then all that sort of stuff. But I'm going to show you that anyway. So what we need to do next is, so now we need to type in the URL. You'll see that it's all automatically downloaded here. So we'll open that up now. My genius client, yes. Might as well minimize that. English, yes. Setup has determined some of the pre-requirements needed to run when I'm missing. Where's the real situation getting? So go next. So it's downloading uh, .name framework SP1 version 3.5. That will install on your PC. Download and install the required files. Right, we can carry on with the setup now. Next, I accept. Next. Finished. Now it's added a, a, an icon onto my desktop. We'll have to go into I agree. So this is doing an upgrade on the software now. 
as you can see I just click next on that so if it doesn't work it doesn't work update complete now I think we need to start the software I'm just going to undo the cable accept here we go automatic let's go ok let's see what happens alright so this is where we need to connect the device so what we'll do is we'll plug the USB into the PC so we'll click ok on there my genius needs a mandatory update ok so let's go on there we'll go accept yes update completed right so I think that's all up to date I'll just turned it off now we'll take it down to the bike and read the map off it right guys so we're down at the bike now and we're gonna plug the ODB uh, reader in it but I'm gonna show you where the uh, the connector is to start off with so the first thing you need to do is take the seats off both the front and the back well you can do it with just the back actually but if you look right under there where I'm pointing it's that connector there maybe a little bit dark but I'm gonna uh, probably increase the brightness but you can see the red port that's what we're looking and it's got a clip on the back you just press it and pull it out and then there's the port now that's what we're going to connect into the next thing we need to do is unclip this or take it off because we need a positive terminal so we do need a positive terminal to plug the ODB reader into it so I'll set that up and then we'll uh, crack on with the next step right so as you can see here I've got it plugged in that's going around to the ODB reader which is here I've got a positive terminal there on the wire that comes across and this is the reading here what you need to do is go work now remember this is just to read your ECU to get the file off here to send to BHP uh, UK so then the next one is we go select on KTM and then we select the model that we've got 1290 Super Adventure and it is a 21 onwards Warning, please connect your vehicle to a stabilised battery. Well, it is okay. Right, so now I have got a battery charger on the bike. We've still got the power cable there that goes to the, the reader, the ECU. And we'll try that process again now. Uh, switch on the dashboard, check the connection and press OK. So the dashboard is now on, as you can see just there. And then we'll click OK. Apparently this can take a long time. It can take up to 15 minutes. Switch off the dashboard to continue. OK. So it's identified the flash okay there right so I, I'm gathering that that has actually uh, put it on there and it says reading let's try that again uh, turn that on okay that I think some motorbikes take longer than others sometimes he said that it can take two seconds or it could take 15 minutes so I'm just doing it again just to see if it comes up with the same process reading ECU there we go this is reading now so what I'm gonna do is set the camera up so that you can see it and then I'll just skip forward Now another thing to note is, just while we're here waiting for this, that this device here is locked to my motorbike now, so I cannot flash any other bikes with this reader or flasher. 
right so it looks like it's read the file file saving in progress so now basically what's happened is we've read the ECU and we've made a copy of the file and put that onto the ECU flasher so now it's telling me to turn off the dashboard or turn off the bike press continue reading ECU complete okay there we go that's finished now so now we can unplug it uh, take it off and uh, we'll send this file off but we'll go to the computer and I'll show you how to uh, get the file off here and then we'll send this on to BHP UK right guys so I've just opened my genius we have got the file already that they sent back to me um, my G file 000 mod in brackets 3 so we've got the ECU flasher plugged into the PC and we just need to upload this file to the my genius do want to search nope what want to do is go in here find where the map is new modded map there open it's verifying the file now and select a file to upload to my genius well we've already selected that and then this is all the information about it file loading on the tool so now this file is getting uploaded to the ECU flasher and then what we need to do is go down into the motorbike and we'll upload this file up to the motorbike and then we'll take it out for a ride procedure completed successfully right so we can close that and then we've just got to wait a minute for my genius client and then we can close that Right, we'll go down to the motorbike now and we will install this on the bike. Right guys, we're back in the garage. I've got it set up now and we're just about to flash the bike with the new flash. So it's kind of exciting. I'll show you what I've done. Uh, I've got just the other flash plugged in with, I have got the power cable there and that is plugged into the ECU here. It's a bit dark, but I'll lighten it up. And then we have got a battery charger down here, all plugged in. So that's what we need to do on this bike. For some reason, we do need to have a, a battery charger plugged to the bike. So now all we need to do is go to work, work, writing, okay. Please connect vehicle to a stabilized battery. It is. Switch on the dashboard. dashboard is on press ok identification ECU communicating in progress apparently on the dashboard you can get a few errors up while you're doing this now I've noticed that the MTC is saying it's off and the uh, cruise control switch off dashboard to continue that is off OK, warning please connect your vehicle to a stabilised battery, it is, switch on the dashboard, connect the connections and press OK. ECU programming, yeah there's lots of errors coming up on the dashboard now as you can see here. <laughs> It did say that would be okay. What I'll do guys, I'll come back is when, when this is finished, because it's going to take probably 10, 15 minutes. Right, so we are nearly there. It's got the last probably 5% to do. We've still got some errors up on the screen here, which is a bit weird, but whatever. We've just got to wait for it to finish off what it's doing. And then we'll, uh, obviously go out for a ride on the bike see if there's any changes or see what differences are I'm hoping that it feels a lot different 
Now you do need to remember guys that this uh, ECU flasher is set just for this bike now. So you can't basically flash other people's bikes with it. It's set to your bike alone. There we go, the, uh, the uh, fuel pump's just come back on. The errors have gone off the dashboard now. Just gonna show you there. Run the errors, run the errors deletion. Okay. Switch off the dashboard to continue. That's that turned off. Okay. Warning, please connect your vehicle to the stabilized battery. Yep, yeah, that's already done. Okay, switch on the dashboard, check the connections and press OK. So the dashboard has just gone back on. Press OK. Switch off the dashboard. Okay. Writing ECU completed. Analyzing log in progress. So as far as I'm concerned, I think, well kids, uh, as far as I'm concerned, this ECU has been flashed with a new map now. So once this has done its bits, there we go. When we get back to this menu, it means we can unplug it and uh, then it's done. Right guys, so now I'm gonna get the bike back together, I'm gonna to get my jacket on, and then we're gonna go for a ride. See what it feels like. I'll see you shortly. Right guys, so we're on the bike now, and uh, I've only come up the road, I don't know how far, but bloody hell, not far at all, and I can already tell how smooth it is. It feels, there's no vibrations at all through the bars whatsoever. It really is smooth. Uh, the foot pegs, uh, there's no vibrations through there at low revs. It's, it's, you can tell, yeah, that it's, it's just a lot, lot smoother. I mean, I don't know what it's like when you give it some welly, but we'll probably do that in a bit when we get further up. As you can see, there's been a couple of coppers around, so you have to be a little bit careful. Uh, the quick shifter uh, feels smooth. I would say slightly smoother than, uh, than before. Right, so I have got all the traction control on and everything, so now we're just in sports mode. So we will turn it into rally mode in a bit. Yeah, that throttle does feel like it gives you some more, uh, like some more feel in it. feel that front end lifting higher than it did before it but again I don't want it to feel like it's a placebo effect but I don't think it is I, I think I can definitely feel a little bit more lift at the front end and we'll get on some proper roads in a bit it's the low down stuff that I want to try really Yeah, that quick shifter is much smoother. I'm having some trouble with that. There's a loose connection in it somewhere, so I've got to have a mess around with that this weekend before we go away.
and we'll see what it's like at... Oh yeah, it's looking good. Yeah, that was only probably in between half and 75% on the accelerator. these yes oh yeah it feels so smooth really smooth that quick shifter is epic if you want your bike uh, mapping for a little bit more power and smoothness and taking off them restrictions then give BHP UK a call they're only based up in Burnley yeah they, they're great they've got a great setup they got the ECU reader really quick to me I think that was at my house within two days uh, the map itself it took a week to get back to me but that was an error on their part they actually sent it within two or three days but what they did is they sent it to the wrong email address so a bit of an admin error there but I phoned them up today and they had it with me within 10 minutes so it's all good right guys so I hope you liked that video that review and that how to re remap your bike if you did like it please smash that like button don't have indicators on that car do they please smash that like button share it on your social media if you think it's worth it subscribe if you want to see more content like this and i will see you next time peace out